My name is Amod Athavle and I'm a doctoral candidate in the Department of Pharmacy Administration. Taking one's medications as instructed by the healthcare provider is known as medication adherence. The purpose of my dissertation was to develop a structured questionnaire to measure medication adherence. Now there's a lot of research out there indicating the detrimental effects of medication non-adherence, which means not taking a medication as instructed. Despite this, recent estimates indicate that 30 to 60 percent of medications are not taken as instructed. Now that's a problem because recent estimates also indicate that about $320 billion may have been spent due to medication non-adherence in the year 2013 alone. Because of this, we don't just need a measure that can measure medication adherence, but also one that can help improve it. Experts suggest that the best way to do this is to administer a structured questionnaire in a clinical practice setting. And that's exactly what we set out to develop. So the first thing we did was we put forth four desired properties that such an instrument should possess. First, it should not be disease specific, that's to improve applicability. Second, it should be able to distinguish between different reasons for medication non-adherence and broadly speaking there are two. Intentional, where the patient voluntarily chooses not to take the medication and unintentional, where the patient simply forgets. Third. Estimating past medication taking behavior is important and that's what most medication adher adherence questionnaires do, but predicting future behavior is potentially even more important. And finally, a lot of insurers out there use a measure of medication use quality to determine reimbursement to healthcare providers. If our structured questionnaire could offer an estimate of this measure, it would provide additional benefit to the healthcare providers to use our instrument. So we conducted our study among patrons of three independent community pharmacies in the state of Mississippi and found that our structured questionnaire didn't just possess the properties that I just mentioned, but also performed better than the most frequently used medication adherence questionnaires out there. It was also capable of distinguishing between five different types or reasons for medication non-adherence, which were worries about side effects, worries about addiction, worries about medication cost, perceived lack of need and unintentional non-adherence. Considering these results, we sincerely hope that healthcare providers start using our instrument to help improve the health of their patients. Thank you.